Now, there's a new option for drivers to juice up their electric vehicles, and that's hitting the streets. Mobile charging services with portable batteries. Market players are hoping the convenience will boost demand for EVs, which make up less than 1% of the car population. A draft law to regulate EV charging is up for debate this year. New Wrong Week has more. Going electric is typically a smooth and quiet ride until a driver sees this on the dashboard and there are no chargers nearby. For those less familiar with electric cars, range anxiety or the fear of batteries running out of the road could be what's holding them back from making the switch from petrol vehicles. But that won't be a problem if the EV charger is portable. Car dealer Werns is putting these on wheels, and a 10-minute charge can last about 30 kilometers. The pilot is a tie-up with local battery maker Dura Power. Werns hopes this will plug the supply gap while the country goes about its plan to install 60,000 charging points over the next eight years. In fact, this is the best time to pilot this uh, new mobile EV charger platform because the numbers are low. That's why it's actually manageable and it allows us to uh, enable us to troubleshoot and make improvements to this setup. Another firm will be taking EV charging to the road with over 20 mobile chargers. But the service is for electric commercial vans that are leased to SMEs to help them go green even faster. The driver actually get to park anywhere at their convenience, right? Uh, and most importantly, um, the charging time taken for this is actually much lesser as compared to them needing to be uh, charging their vehicle at a charging point. The company behind this, EVCo, is starting with 550 electric vans next year. This ride-sharing scheme can also help SMEs scale their business. It actually opens up a new dimension of having to, to have a ready pool of drivers who may not have actually vehicle, but now we are able to tap vehicle on demand. EVCo is also interested to work with existing players that install charging stations. The first step is, can we actually put mobile charging, for example, or even charging through a typical traditional um, charging partner network out there, fuse it as part of operations, whereby we are able to make it such that it's seamless and also the whole entire user journey is uh, less painful uh, for drivers. So far, market players say they meet local and international safety standards. This comes as a new law to regulate EV charging is up for debate in Parliament this year. It could mean licensing and mandatory registration.